Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius from Winter Laboratory with your lab secrets tip of the day. Tonight, I want to give you three quick ways how you can add a custom My Profile link all throughout your site. Now, the My Profile link is very important because many people are used to other systems where the member has an ability to instantly click and be taken to their profile like this. Now, the landing page on the profile section could go to the activity, the goals, the photos, videos. That can all be adjusted. But basically, in order to make this profile tab obvious, we're going to give you three ways to go about it. Let's start with number one. Number one is, and let me go back here to the front of the site, we're going to give you the ability as an update to the, the Core Lab theme, a My Profile link button. It can be styled, it can be moved, it can be displayed but, uh, in various ways. But basically, it goes into any of your normal navigation menus. Now remember, with the Lab Secret Solution, the navigation menus can be displayed throughout various positions on your site, above or below the header. They can be in the footer. They can be in the content areas above and below, sidebar, what have you. But the bottom line is you'll be able to have a My Profile link button and have it be stood off like I'm doing here with a unique red color or just make it blend in with the rest. That's the easiest way to go about it because that'll be somewhere that the members are already looking. Now the other nice thing is this will only show up for people who are already members of the site. It won't be displayed to the general public. All right, that's the obvious one. The next one is we give you the ability now, and I'm going to show you right here, to use what they call short codes. Now, short codes are a very popular thing in the WordPress system because they give people who are non-programmers an ability to add custom functions with just a word or two in between brackets. Let me give you an example. Let's say I've got a blog post here, and I want to put something inside of the blog that gives members a way to go immediately to their profile. Could be a variety of reasons for that, but again, by way of example, let's just say we're going to do it here. So I'm going to edit this blog post, and once I click over to the editing uh, menu, I'm over here in the visual editor, and you'll notice that I've got these unusual little bracketed words, member profile and slash member profile. And that's what a short code is. The word in between here triggers a function, which we've uh, gone ahead and added to the Core Lab theme that lets you add a My Profile button. Now we've also added some uh, standard styling here so that you don't even have to create a button. All that can be configured and styled to look like any type of thing you want in terms of color and size and padding and font. But basically the cool part is just by take taking uh, the word in between, I can change this from say my profile to yo, my profile. How about that? We go ahead and click update. And now you'll see when we go back over and take a look at the actual blog post, we've gone ahead and added in a custom button. Just as simple as that. Let me refresh here. And there you go, yo, my profile. When I click on it, of course, it takes me over to my profile page. There you go. Okay, number three. We've also got the ability to use the standard lab tools login widget. If you remember from our previous tutorials, this is the login widget here, and it already has, of course, the link to a member's profile, as well as some other handy things like a logout button. There's three different styles we give you, one of which is in the uh, minified version, can go horizontal, one is a large horizontal, and one is a vertical, like this. Because I can drag this anywhere on the site, this is another way to give access to a member's profile outside of the other two ways. And just to remind you, if I go over here to our admin dashboard, this is what it looks like. When I go and scroll up here, we've got the Lab Tools navigation, we've got the Lab Tools header, and here's the Lab Tools login box. And you'll see here that I've got this example where I can go vertical, horizontal, horizontal mini. I could say how big I want the box to be, and I can also say where I want it displayed. All right, now let me give you the last example. The last example is kind of unusual, but basically we're using a plugin by a third party here that allows you to display selectively different types of members as well as their profile data. In this case, I've gone and added a box to my right sidebar that lets the members of the site know who the admins are. Now I could change that and say, who are the other site members? Or I could go ahead and filter by any particular criterion in order to find certain types of people and display them. And that plugin is over here. It's by Buddy Dev. And what it's called is, scrolling around, it's called the BP Profile for Blogs. So what we've got over here is on the right hand sidebar, I've dragged that into place. And I went ahead and gave it a title of Your Admins. 
And I said, I want to list the profiles for the administrator. But basically, as you can see, I could choose any of the roles on my site, including the ordinary uh, members. I can choose subscribers. I could choose even to show people that have been inactive or blocked if I wanted to. I can decide if their avatar shows up. And then also I can, also, I can choose amongst the profile fields. So in this case, I had, for example, their name and the type of pet that they might have. I can go ahead and show that. And last but not least, of course, I can always set the parameters for visibility on which pages it'll show up, as well as the styling for width and float. Okay, that is it. That is my quick tutorial here to show you a few ways. It's three plus one on how you can add direct links to the profile fields for your members. So they can easily navigate back and set their personal information, see their activity stream, etc. This is Spence, the evil genius from Witch of the Boratory.